Hi everyone, my name is Mandeep and in today's video we will be discussing a very important topic which is named as linear regression and in today's video we will cover about the conceptual part because before jumping on to code I want to discuss some concepts and uh, so let's get started. So uh, today's topic is linear regression. So before going into in depth for linear regression I would like to take you guys back to your school days where you used to uh, learn a straight line equation in your algebra classes and which was something like this y is equal to mx plus p where y is the value that we want to drive where y is the value that we want to derive and x is some value given b is a constant and m is a slope so this was the equation that we used to study in our school days so we will be using the same equation and our linear regression is also based on the same equation so to understand this let me take an example so let's say uh, we are given some data for house price prediction let's say area and prices and let's say area is my 1000 square feet and my price is let's say 35 lakh my area is 1500 square feet my price is let's say 45 lakh 925 lakh 500 15 like something like this now this uh, and there there are let's say many more but for simplicity purpose we are just taking two variables and uh, some values for these two variables here if I put this this data into this above equation one let's say so my y is my price and m is the value that we need to find and x is my area and then b is again some constant and uh, we used to represent this equation into something this manner let's say this is my x here my x is let's say my area and this is my y and this is my let's say price and we used to let's say draw some line and m this is my slope uh, let me refresh you slope is the rate of change of y with respect to rate of change of x that means how x is changing it impacts the value of y or in other words how y would change depends on x so guys if i need to draw this this data the same table data onto a graph let me draw the graph here and let's say this is my area this is my price 
and my area is on let's say 500 square feet 1000 and then 1500 then 2000 this is my area and this is my price let's say 10 lakh 20 30 40 and let's say 50 and this is my price if you draw these values on this graph so for my uh, where my area is 500 my price is 15 like which would be somewhere here and where my then my next data point is my 900 which would be somewhere here and my price is 25 like which would be somewhere here and my area is 1500 square feet and my price is 45 lakh so my 1500 area square feet and my price is somewhere here and my when my price is 1000 square feet it is 35 lakh which is actually somewhere here now this data has been drawn here and this is that equation and we need to find of values of m and p such that when we arrive with our final equation after finding the value of m and b and then we draw that line that line should be either exactly passing through these points which are my actual data points or should be very close to these points for example now assume that we have uh, find our equation value of m and y and uh, sorry m and p and after that let's say we draw our line and assume that that line was something like this so now you can see that this line is not passing through each of the data point but it is passing through two of the data points and it is very close to uh, the other two so in machine learning uh, guys we need to uh, find this line or this equation such a, in such a manner that our uh, difference between this value so let's say this is my this line represents my predicted values which we drawn after finding that equation so so let's say for when my 500 square feet of area and my predicted and my actual value are exactly on the line line and for my 1000 square feet this value is also on the line but for my sorry for my 900 square feet of value but for my 1000 square feet of value this is this is the point this point represents my predicted value and this x represents my actual value so the difference between this x value let's say it is something like this this so this difference the difference between this and this is called as error error in prediction and the similar way the difference between this and this is termed as again this error so we need to find our equation in such a way or the value of m and p in such a way that the error of these data points 
should be minimum. So how it could be minimum and how we can represent this value. So we can represent, let's say y at represents the predicted value, which is in our case, this dot, the dots which are on line, this is, this is the dot, this is my predicted value, but this x, this is my actual value. So it should be something to minimize this error. What we can do, how we can represent this, we can represent this y hat, which is my predicted value, minus y, which is my actual value, whole square. We do the whole square because it this value could come as negative as well as positive. So to take, uh, to keep it positive or to make it absolute, we are just squaring it. So y hat minus y, and then take a summation of number of data points. Let's say we have m or n number of data points. Let's say we have n number of data points and then divide by n. So guess this is our cost function. And we need to find our value of m and b such a way that it should be minimum or our error should be minimum. When our error will be minimum, then that means this value would be minimum, y hat minus y. That means that our predicted value is e either equal to actual value or it is almost or very near to our actual value. And which in turn will reflect that our model is predicting very well uh, or similar to the actual values. So guys, in this we have taken only one variable. Um, this variable price, this is my dependent variable. Why this is dependent? This is dependent because we are kind of predicting this value or drawing, finding, using area. So this is my independent variable. This is my dependent variable. So here we have one dependent variable, one independent variable in the equation of this y is equal to mx plus v. This is my independent uh, dependent variable because it is dependent on value of x and x is my independent variable. Um, but in actual real life problem, um, we want to be having only one independent variable and one dependent variable will always be you you know always be one but we in real life we won't be having one independent variable we might be having suppose i add some one more data let's say uh, how many bhk of that that flat is let's say 2 BHK, 3 BHK, 1 BHK, 1 BHK, something that sort of. So here uh, we have two independent variables, one dependent variable, sorry, these, these are my independent variable, area and BHK. Price is the variable that we are going to predict or find. So this is my dependent variable. So if I have something like this, so we can generalize this equation which is of y is equal to mx plus b in short terms if we have to write the same equation for n number of variables how i would write it that would be something like this y is equal to m m1 of x1 plus m2 of x2 and so on
m3 of x3 and then mn of xn plus p and this this equation in some of the books of machine learning this equation is rewritten in form of this way which is again the same thing we are just kind of using two different variables but the concept is same how it is written my h of theta xi which is my y and that would be my theta 1 of xi plus theta naught so in this equation my theta naught is my slope this is my sorry uh, this is my intercept this is my slope this is my x variable and this is my y variable and the same equation if i generalize it for something like this this equation would become this so in generalized from this equation would be h of theta xi is equal to theta 1 of xi1 theta 2 of xi2 and so on theta n x n m and theta naught so in this equation this is my intercept which is this one and here which is b and this is my m1 x1 m2 x2 something like this and this is my y part so guys uh, that's all for today's video in linear regression conceptual part we will be implementing it in using python code in our next video till then bye bye take care and enjoy your day